But anyway, it's parcelage day, and guess who from? Oh, I wonder if it's from Ely. Mm, don't think so. I think today we've got parcelage from Night Pearl. And uh, I wonder what they've sent me today. So you won't get me very much in the video because I haven't got the room here, but you'll get arms, legs, and whatever else we see. Rough old country boy. So www.nightpearl.com. Let's wait there that way. Now I've already cut the bottom of the box to find out what we got, so we'll make it easier for unwrapping. Now let's have a look, see what we got here. Got that in the video? Yep, yeah, we're in the video. Right, that's good enough. Now, what do we have? We have the hats and the t-shirts. They'll be alright. No goose, you're not getting on this video, mate. We tried to destroy the last one. Get rid of all the packaging. We pack it well. Oh, brilliant. Got the little toolkits for the sear system. And uh, like I said, it's very important that you get the right size um, mounts for your scopes, which I sent for. The right ones to fit my scopes. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. So we'll be fitting all those together. And we'll put those down there too. We can see what we're doing here. On. Oops, another one. Oh good, that one's here. I was looking, that's one of my main scapes, that one. Let's put that one to the side. Actually, I won't get them all out, so that because they all look the same, they're just different sizes. Now, this is what I'm most interested in, is what's in this white box. This is what I'm looking forward to the most. Let's get this box out of the way. There we go. Oh wow, look, it's coming in another one of its own little bags. And this is the new, brand new, Night Pro Sear system. Now, I believe this is the 50 or 55. Um, all the functions of the other one but a lot crisper a lot sharper let me double check to see what i think we have in here it is the night pearl 50 yeah there we go so i'm gonna write look this is what i didn't get to show you on the other video was you know you've got all the bits and bobs in here but the most interesting part of the service system not does it only does it go onto your um scope and you can put it on the front of your scope and it turns your day scope into a thermal night scope thermal day scope but if you really want to you can screw that onto there like so and turn that i won't scroll on this it'll take two minutes i'm gonna play with it first you can turn that into a spotter stroke scope i'm sure i've been to i'll have to read the instructions but i'm pretty sure this has got its own crosshairs if you want them as well so you don't have to put it on the front of your scope you could use this as a dedicated scope on your scope or a, or a thermal spotter um, but I will need to read the instructions on that I'm probably right probably wrong I don't know um, but like I say you could have that as a dedicated scope I'm pretty sure I need to read the new instructions I'm not making a mistake I did like with the other one I didn't read the instructions and um, well yeah didn't get the hang of it but that is an awesome look at the, the quality it's not overly heavy it's not overly light but you can feel the quality as soon as you get it out just the, the quality of those screw threads are, are well cut, you know, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, using this system. There's all sorts of things in here that I'm going to have a play with. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm told that the clarity of this one is 10 times more than the other one. And the other one was brilliant as it was. So Night Pro, Sear Plus 2. Uh, there's a lot to read, lots to learn. Uh, hopefully I will get the hang of using the app where I can you know record through this and download it to a computer or I can use it on the Bluetooth Wi-Fi wi app and you can do everything through my mobile which I quite enjoy because I can whoever's with me can see what I'm seeing as well at the same time so I'm looking forward to playing with all that and actually maybe hopefully uploading some videos and well, once I get the hang of it all because I'm like I always say I'm a low-tech guy in a high-tech world so it takes me a minute or two to uh, work all the functions out but uh yeah really looking forward to this anyway guys let's uh tidy it all up a bit but this is oh yeah you know i said this before this is a really good quality bag 
so you can fit the sear in it and you can fit the spotter next to it you know I think it's, it's absolutely fabulous so you know well without like getting too carried away and too nice and tidy there we are the new night pro sear plus two can't wait to get using it alongside the spotter proper job well, we're back again for uh night pro tv as it were um in the previous video i wasn't sure about unboxing it and everything else i didn't know what the functions did i wasn't sure if it was a dedicated scope as well you could i was incorrect on that now reading the instructions it is not you don't you can't use it as a dedicated scope but you can use it as a spotter like i thought with the uh with the eyepiece that goes on um two two of them in the video here right now was the uh night pearl sear 35 which is the top one which uh i have this power source just here uh this is an external rechargeable power source you can buy extra uh it goes on the top i like this it's not cumbersome as it looks it's very easy to use it all pops out dead easy um but it does get powered if you don't want to use that you can use two of these uh cr123a lithium batteries um I'll show you where they go in just a second. But um, I quite like the idea of the rechargeable one because you can see on the gauge on the top of it the, how much power you're using. Or you can buy one of these as a backup have, or vice versa and use these in the machine to power it. Whatever. Um, something I learned long ago. Hang on, let me just turn that off because that's bleeping on me. Okay, I, something I learned a long time ago with these things that take batteries like this sort of stuff, which is fabulous until they run out. And they usually run out because all of us are the same. We all forget to have change the batteries or we get there and go, oh, we've only got 10% battery or 20% battery or something like that, um, which is a royal pain in the backside. Especially when you're there on the hunt and you're going to be there for, for a few hours and the equipment goes down human error not an error with the equipment it's a human error uh, we all forget we all have busy lives we all forget so my biggest advice is always carry spares it takes two of them um if you're going to have this and that great you can have one back the other one up regardless you've got obviously um i'm messing my display up go away thank you um so this that's a big big uh, bonus plus uh, let's see if i can squeeze around here i'm doing this cross-legged sat on the floor of the gun room uh, but here we go so this power unit is dead easy it pops out all right so we'll put that on there i think let's put your bench back let's move that around a bit there we go that's better right so this this is a power source little power bank brilliant from night pearl you can charge it up with a usb lead or phone lead or whatever and it all plugs in we've seen this in previous videos it plugs into the side in here in this section here that little panel screws onto the top right there and jobs are good um but like i say i want to give you a quick shout out about the power source way of doing this thing you can go straight with that as is two cr2 cr123a batteries in there um oh, that's another thing opening them up dead easy turn open and in there they go right there two of them All right piece of cake couldn't get any simpler or easier than that and just a shut them there we go job's done and that's ready to rock if you put the batteries in you're ready to go um i particularly like the power source i particularly like this because it reminds me to put it in standby it reminds me all sorts of things um because when you're hunting you've got enough to think of as it is without having to mess around with different buttons whatever you know and there's a lot of functions on this also the two things i've noticed immediately without even trying out in the field or anything else are the lenses look at the size of that lens there compared to the 35 i mean you can you can tell straight away that this one here is going to have a lot more clarity a lot more visibility and this one here the 35 was already fantastic i mean i could see all the vegetation and everything so i could tell what i was looking at again very very good quality um the the the, the high quality of this is is worth every penny you spend 
you know it's it's one of those things you buy once you cry once if you want to buy cheap back door out of someone's garage or off of flea bay or whatever you're going to get what you pay for you know you're better off saving up that little bit more and getting the real mccoy i've always said this something my granddad drummed into me as a boy you know an imitation is an imitation a copy of what you the real thing nothing works as best as good as the real thing so you know save up that bit extra and buy the real thing i really love in the, the clip-on system as well of the sears have been so versatile hopefully we will be working on some other versions of this that make it a bit easier to change from different scopes because obviously you've got to have different ones of these the, the collars but the, the clip-on system here i've given them a few ideas hopefully if we can get the quality right we'll be even quicker even sharper um in changing from rifle to rifle uh, again, you'll still need the right size collars to fit each one of your scopes, but uh, hopefully a, a system we've just worked out here will work a bit better than the screw thread system, although the screw thread system is very good quality. Just looking at the screw threads cut here, you know, on that collar, it's, it's the finest quality and gives you strength and stability, which is what you need. On when you, you're taking the shot you don't want to be wobbling or anything wobbling or moving especially if you're on the uh, bigger caliber guns you know like moving on my 308 and taking bore and things i don't want to be my scope jumping all over the place so uh there you go big shout out on that one um the power system so no it's not a dedicated scope you can't use it as a dead scope it's a clip on the front as it was meant to be it was my mistake um the eyepiece like i said was to turn it into a spotter or Take it back off and do it on the scope. So, you know, but like I say, I'm a rough old country boy. Read the instructions. Uh, I'm glad they do them in English because I'm not sure if I, um, I read Czech very well. <laughs> but anyway, excellent job. You know, quality gear. Can't wait to get on some jobs later with it. And I'm going to run the two units side by side and and uh, in comparison to see what, what the limitations are. I mean, as we get the winter come in, I'm going to take these out to their limit. To the highest points of pressure so that they can um, see what they perform like at the top end of the scale as well as the bottom so we've got some few big hunts coming up and hopefully if i can get the hang of the filming and all the rest of it you'll hopefully see some really nice hunts um dealing with everything from a rat right away up um to the big stuff but you know maybe not in this country you might see the old hedge creeper on the shores of europe or america or canada or even africa or whatever very soon there's a lot of plans involved anyway proper job thumbs up